one, I got mail. And well, it's been a little while since I did one of these I got mail videos, but well, we were away traveling for a bit and we had this whole studio project going on. This is actually the second video I'm recording in this studio. Um, you, you saw the studio introduction and now this is really my first actual recording a, a video for the sake of recording a video here um, and I haven't even listened to a piece of music yet here and I guess you will see why at the end of this video so stay tuned um, well let's see what the first bit of mail is that I got I actually have two letters here uh, both from the same sender Jim Hargy and well I haven't actually read them, Vlad opened them to check them out and make sure it's... He, he started screening the mail to make sure it's appropriate for me to open on camera. But um, this says it's from Old Guy Who Knows Stuff. It says, I'm, 80, I'm 68 years old and I do know some stuff. And there's a nice letter here about some shows coming up. And I guess I'll be, I'll, I'll sit down and read this um, when I'm done with this rec uh, video here. A couple of pictures. There's one of a band and Richard Thompson, Ship to Shore, and a $20 donation. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. This is going to be fun to read through and look through. And I'm sure I will learn something from the old guy who knows stuff. This also is another letter from the same person. And it is, oh, it appears to be a, a sort of newspaper article. Oh, another $20 donation. Thank you very much. And uh, John Mayle, the godfather of British blues, has passed away. So this is another bit of information that I should read and learn. Thank you. I appreciate it, Jim Hargy, and I'm going to enjoy perusing this and educating myself after I'm done making this recording. The next one is from Mrs. Connie Sirtis. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that name properly. It's quite a packet here. Uh, wow, a lot of a lot of material here. There's um, something about. George Harrison, and well, it seems to be a lot of old newspaper clippings. It looks like this might be from somebody's scrapbook, sharing their scrapbook with me. That's kind of special. George, a photo of George Harrison in black and white uh, of the Beatles. This looks like a lot of fun. Rather appropriate, since I'm in the middle of the Be Beatles 150 series. Um, Oh, uh, more about the Beatles. Okay, this is obviously way more than I can sit down and absorb right here on camera. I will be digging into it um, on my own time. But thank you very much. It looks like a real treasure trove. The next piece of mail, let's see here. It looks like a handwritten letter. Quite a long letter. Let's see here. There's double-sided pages. Well, let's see what it says here. I probably won't read the whole thing. It says, Amy, it's time. Enjoyed your music reactions for the last year and you are very precious to so many fans, but it's time now. You are about to go on a journey, but only if you choose to do so, or you can turn away from it all and continue to live in denial. Hmm, this sounds interesting. This is coming whether you want to believe it or not. You are about to become Fully aware of what this is all about. The Bible speaks of... And then there's a list. Okay, so it sounds like somebody is um, concerned for my spiritual well-being. And um, probably, yep, looking through here, it seems like there's a lot of... There are quite a few Bible references and links. Obviously, someone put a lot of time and effort and heart into this. Let's see, this is a... Ah, a, they've included a, a watchtower for me as well. Well, let's see. Um, what should I say? <laughs> uh, 
I, I truly appreciate the heart and the love that goes into every bit of mail that I receive, even such a, a letter as this. And um, I appreciate the fact that I have so many viewers from so many different backgrounds, so many different religions, and that they all find something meaningful on this channel. I guess I'll simply say, um, and here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. Um, Jesus loves you more than you can know. God bless you, please, Mrs. Robinson. Heaven holds a place for those who pray. And to quote Forrest Gump, and that's all I have to say about that. Uh, the next piece of mail is actually a Looks like a vinyl, a record, an LP. Um, Tommy the Who. Well, I guess I listened to something by the Who. I guess that was Love, Rain, or Me. Kind of early in my journey. Let's see, this is um, Overture. I, and some of you were telling me about this, that it's a rock opera and that I ought to listen to it. Well, I guess I have an actual, actual hard copy of it in my hands now. Overture, it's a boy. This is this is something that I, I will need to be going through at some point. Um, and of course the opera by Pete Townsend. This is this is a real gift and I appreciate it and thank you. <laughs> the next piece of mail, uh, it's another packet from there's no name here, but that's okay. Some of these don't have names. I'm sure that some of the senders are reluctant to have their names spoken on camera, and that is entirely understandable and okay, but you know who you are, and and you know that I appreciate gifts. Um, has a note, says, Amy, I really appreciated your breakdown of the wall. Maybe you can do Dark Side of the Moon sometime. Thanks, Matt. Okay, it's from Matt. And, oh, this is um, Pink Floyd. The story behind every album. Collector's edition. 50 year salute to rock's most mysterious band. Oh, that sounds enticing. I guess I need to spend some time with this. Does... Well, I'm just this close to finishing the Wall album. Um, in depth. That whole series. And I suppose when I'm finished with that... Mm, I was thinking to do something else. Does this mean I should do... Maybe I shouldn't say. I, I should talk to Vlad about what the best <laughs> what the best approach is, but obviously I have a good deal of Pink Floyd ahead of me, and I suppose I'll find this very helpful and certainly incredibly interesting. Thank you, Matt. Okay, so this one now, and actually this is one that I have opened and kind of looked through a bit already. So um, this is a... Book of Poetry, 150 Most Famous Poems, sent to me by Lee Kennison, and he included a note here. Amy, your occasional references to poetry in your reactions inspired me to return to poetry after many decades, so I thought this might make a nice gift for you to show my appreciation. From Lee Kennison. Um, well, I have to say that Lee has been a long time um, very supportive contributor to my journey on this channel and um, so this is a very special special gift from him um, having glanced through this a bit well a lot of you know that I enjoy a bit of Emily Dickinson poetry and I picked one to read from here not the not the Hope is a thing with feathers, which I've quoted several times, but another one that I, I think is very appropriate and kind of something that I aspire to. If I can stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I can ease one life the aching, or cool one pain, or help one fainting robin into his nest again, I shall not live in vain. And. That is something that I hope I can live out every day. That is, that is my that is my inspiration, and that is kind of my approach to uh, what what I what I hope to achieve every day, every moment, everything that I do. And I hope that this channel has a bit of that in it. 
So thank you very much, Lee. I am going to enjoy this collection for many years, and I'm sure that the rest of the family will get to hear it too. Okay, and now the last piece is actually, it didn't arrive in the mail because it's something that Vlad purchased for me, and I'm showing you only what I am allowed to see because this happens to be um, the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band album. It's a it's a very old one. It's not a new printing of it. It's it's the real deal. And Vlad tells me that I'm not allowed to look at it, not allowed to see it until I do my actual listen of it. So I'm just looking at the back here inside the bag and and that's it. Well, um, this is where I get to tell you <laughs> what happens next. Um, for those of you on Patreon, tomorrow we will sit down in this new studio and the very first thing I'm going to listen to is going to be this complete album. And it's going to be a real experience, I'm sure. Uh, I unfortunately on YouTube I can't I can't I won't be able to put this listen on YouTube because of you know the problems we have with publishing Beatles on YouTube so if you if you want to see this you will unfortunately have to go to coffee and patreon but for those of you there I'll see you tomorrow and um, it's going to be a lot of fun I can hardly wait and actually this this first listen here in this studio is going to kind of change the whole game with the Beatles project a bit, but I'll, I'll wait to tell you about that until we are sitting down together. And that is tomorrow. I mean tomorrow, Saturday. This Saturday, for those of you on Coffee and Patreon, um, meet me here. I'll see you then.